Well, you know, when you look at the temperatures that we were seeing today, you think everything's right on schedule. And, and it was, you know, nor, our normal high is in the mid 80s. A lot of folks, most areas were reaching that level today. But we will see some changes coming up soon. And it's uh, kind of odd for this time of the year. We'll get to that in a minute. 70 degrees will be your overnight low tonight. You may see a stray shower or thunderstorm here or there. They are very isolated uh, tonight. We don't expect widespread coverage at all. So you'll be lucky if you see any rain at all. 70 the low tomorrow, 86. And I think tomorrow we'll keep that, you know, about a 30% chance of a stray late day thunderstorm and again 30 to 40 is normal for this time of the year and you see uh, earlier in the evening of course we were seeing but look how just hit or miss they were not not very widespread across the area definitely nothing that warranted a watch or a warning that's for sure in fact a lot of it was really isolated more to the north and west and then in the southern Piedmont than it really was over the heart of the triad but again those will kind of fizzle out over time but you see how unsettled it is over the southeast. All of this is courtesy of a high pressure ridge that is living off our coast. It's actually a western extension of the Bermuda High. That'll build over the mid-Atlantic states. We still, again, as we mentioned, see that chance for isolated thunderstorms on your Monday, but we may take it out altogether uh, by Tuesday. Of course, we are watching the tropics to see what's happening here. We have two different named systems that could be moving into the Gulf. Uh, just so you know, the latest here on Tropical Storm Laura, which is really the one we're more concerned with, uh, the winds at uh, 60 miles per hour. If it gets up to over 74, that will be a Category 1 hurricane, and we do expect that to happen. It's moving west-northwest at about 21 miles per hour. If you look at the future path of this system, we think by Tuesday evening, maybe into Wednesday morning, it could be a Category 1 strengthening to a 2 before it moves in closer to land, and we think that'll happen anywhere between Houston and New Orleans, basically, probably happening by a Wednesday evening and into Thursday Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, that will greatly reduce down in strength to just a low pressure as it approaches Tennessee. But notice that hard turn. That's because we have that high pressure building in over us that will literally protect us from the system. Because you see, we are high and dry for the middle part of the week. Here's your seven-day forecast. 86 tomorrow with a normal 30% chance of a late-day pop-up shower. By Tuesday, rain chances drop to a 20%, mainly dry, but highs start to build in with our winds coming in out of the south and really no rain to cool us down. We'll go to 80 on Tuesday, low 90s for Wednesday, Thursday, and no mention of rain. Back to a normal 30% for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we'll start to cool things down a bit for your Saturday 88, Sunday, a few isolated storms, and much cooler at 84.